Then him, well, if you say he only gets a crown when he's fulfilled his mission, the, it's still proper to artistically put the crown on him to represent the fact that from the moment, from before he was even conceived in the womb of the Virgin Mary, he was the king of kings. Because he actually was, he's God himself, from before all ages. Yeah, but, but you know, the way that God does things is that he, when he depicts something, it's according to what, what as the proper, you know, the proper due. So he will only get the crown properly once he's finished the mission. So, so the way he is, because even when you look at, you know, like you got in Daniel, Daniel 10, uh -huh. Where Daniel sees the messenger, and he says that he's got the you know the face like lightning. Right. Even in there, it doesn't say he's wearing a crown. Okay. So even when you see visions similar to him in the Old Testament, the crown's not there. Okay. And it's only once, uh, you know, in Daniel seven, it's when he says that he comes before the Ancient of Days. That's when he gets the kingdom. So that's when he would uh, be have the right to the crown at that point. Because that's what he's given him. You know, you often see in the representation of, of, of Jesus in the lap of the Virgin Mary, a, a, a boy who's, you know, he's not like an ordinary child. He doesn't look like an ordinary baby. He's holding a scepter. He's holding an orb. These are the, sound, these are the symbols in Western kingship of, of, of um, royal authority. But obviously Jesus never held a scepter and an orb in his little life as a little boy. This is just art. I wouldn't drive it too far. It's, it's trying to say this little baby is God incarnate. He's the king of the universe. That's what they're trying to say, amongst other things, no doubt. And if you, if you want to say, well, they shouldn't do that because of what you've said, I'm not going to object to your reasoning. I'm just saying that with art, there is a certain flexibility that's allowed. And if somebody actually does something which you don't think is artistically proper, and most people have issues with, with an artist's um, efforts in various ways. I don't think one can say that that therefore means the art is in definite contradiction with true doctrine. It's just an artistic... Yeah, but it doesn't display the true doctrine, that's the problem. So now, someone could see it and say, oh, she's, she's holding Jesus and he's got a crown, so, and they can actually think the wrong sequence because they haven't read the Bible. Well, we would say that this shows he's the... He is the king of the universe. He's God himself. He's not just a boy, not just a baby. He's holding, holding the orb and the scepter, though he never held physically an orb and a scepter, because that shows he's a, a true king, the orb representing the, the possession of the world and the scepter being that royal authority to you know, control people and, and the universe. So that image, it, these images tell stories. They're not actually necessarily showing what you are trying to say they should show. So if the artist has a different purpose than you've got, then you can't say he's wrong in his purpose if it's trying to show something different from what you think it should be showing. <laughs> so I, I don't think I can say much more, because if you want to challenge an artist's artistry, fair enough, but you'll be there till the cows come home because there's so many different ways to apply artistic skills to, 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 to get a message across, and there's so many different kinds of messages you can get across with your art. I mean, if you're saying it's objectionable in principle to, to show um, Jesus um, as a boy with a crown on his head, I can't challenge you on that because, I mean, I can only say what I've said. It's just a, the, the artist, if an artist wants to tell you something um, about Jesus, then it might not be that it's in, in a kind of historical sequence or it's like, as you say, he gets the crown later and it's given it him too soon. But if the artist is trying to say, not that when he gets the crown, but that he actually has that God status and king status from the moment he's a conceptus in Mary's womb. If that's his purpose, then he's fulfilled his purpose and he hasn't contradicted true doctrine. He's just contradicted the particular thing that you think needs to be pointed out. But different things can be pointed out by art. Yeah, okay, so well, that's, that, I suppose that, that can be an ambiguous one, but 